Hey everyone, it's Mikey Chen. I've mentioned in previous videos that one of my worst fears is just getting dropped off in the middle of the ocean. This is why I can never go on a cruise. I mean, think about it. When you're on a cruise, there's always this possibility. You're having a good time. You're eating a lot. You're drinking way too much. You decide to go back to your balcony and enjoy the night breeze. And then one slip, you fall over or pushed over if your significant other has an evil plot against you. Now you're just floating in the middle of the ocean, in the dark, where even a lost Nemo has a better chance at survival than you do. And then the sharks come because, well, of course they're gonna come. And you know what's scarier than a shark coming at you in the middle of the night when you're floating in the ocean? A shark with two heads coming at you in the middle of the night when you're stuck in the ocean. Because with a regular shark, you might be able to do something like punch it in the nose or stab it in its eye. But a shark with two heads, what are you gonna do. And this scenario might not be that far-fetched, at least the shark attack part, because sharks with two heads are apparently becoming more and more common and nobody has any idea why. Some researchers have suggested the mutation is caused by overfishing, because as the population of sharks shrink, the gene pool shrinks as well, which leads to more inbreeding among shark species, which of course would cause a lot of genetic abnormalities. But other factors that's causing this could be viral infections, metabolic disorders, and pollution. Now, I get that researchers can't really pinpoint a specific reason for the mutations, but I think it's pretty safe to say that overall, the problem is us, right? I mean, the biggest source of pollution in the ocean is directly from land-based sources, such as oil, dirt, septic tanks, farms, cars, and thousands of tons of waste and trash that are being dumped into the ocean every single day. I mean, there's an island of garbage twice the size of Texas inside the Pacific Ocean right now. So you combine all that and overfishing, then is it really a surprise that sharks are showing up with two heads? Maybe that's nature's way of fighting back, right? Let's start giving animals more ways to eat us with. Sharks are getting a second head. Maybe next year we'll see a three-headed lion where squirrels will start sniping us with acorns. But seriously, this is a real problem. And I think the shark mutations are only just the beginning. Next, there could soon be a real-life Iron Man or actually real-life Iron Men. Scientists in the U.S. are working on a combat suit for soldiers inspired by the Iron Man suit from the movies and say it could be available in just two years. They're calling it Talos or Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit and it will give the person wearing it the ability to see in the dark superhuman strength and it can also deflect bullets. But the flaw is, well, they can't really replicate Tony Stark's energy source so the soldiers would have to carry super heavy batteries with them. Next, a strange island is found near the eastern edge of Argentina and it's almost a perfectly round island and for some reason it's floating on its own axis in the middle of a swamp. Some are calling it the eye and say it's the entrance to a giant alien base below. I mean it probably isn't but this island is still pretty interesting. The eye was first spotted by a film crew earlier this year when they were searching for a place to film a documentary. They saw the island, plugged the coordinates into Google Maps and saw this. The film crew said that the water surrounding the island was cold and clear, which is weird for that particular area, and the ground on the island is hard and not mushy like the surrounding marshes. And finally, cave drawings that were originally thought to be just random simple doodles could actually be the origins of modern writing in the European alphabet. When researchers visited caves across Europe, they compiled a database of the symbols they found on the cave walls up to 25,000 years ago, and found that many of the symbols were not random at all. In fact, there were only 32 different types of symbols throughout all the caves, suggesting that early humans utilized some sort of written language. This is a huge deal because it is currently believed that the earliest known attempts of a written language were cuneiform scripts created 5,000 years ago in the city of Uruk in what is now Iraq. So there you go, guys. In this video, we covered what the next Sharknado movie will be all about. The government is creating more advanced ways we can all go and kill each other. A potential alien base is in Argentina. And the first written language could have been developed 20,000 years before we thought. Let me know your thoughts on any one of the stories in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.